Hey you guys, welcome back to the channel and I'm super excited for today's video. You are going to get some extreme cleaning motivation. I was super productive today. I got my grocery pickup. I did school with Ava. We even took Remy for a walk because it was a little cooler here in Arizona. So I realized why don't I go ahead and just start filming. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm putting away a couple of the groceries that I still had to put away. So I did go ahead and do a pantry makeover recently and that is where I used all kinds of storage containers. It really makes a huge difference in our pantry. If you haven't seen that video, I will have that link down below. In this video, I'm also going to be sharing a huge cleaning products haul at the end. Make sure you stay tuned for that because I do go in detail about the products, what they smell like, all kinds of fun stuff. So without further ado, we're just going to go ahead and get started. But I don't even know how to feel about it. So right here, I'm just kind of picking up the mess from the night before because I did not clean the night before and that's okay. I don't stay to my routine to a T. If I'm tired and I have other stuff going on, I will do that and then I will clean the next morning. So I did notice that there is a hole in this glass jar that I use for our rice. I think the metal prong thing just collapsed on it too hard. So I was super bummed about it, but I had to just go ahead and throw it away because it's super dangerous. There's probably glass inside the rice. So that's what I was doing there. So one area you don't want to forget to clean is back here behind your stove just because a lot of food splashes on there when you're cooking and preparing food. No, I don't even know. If you're cleaning with me today, go ahead and share that with us down below. Also, let us know what you're working on so we can help motivate and inspire each other. I'm ready to face my fears. I'm ready to taste the weird. I just want to walk the hills above. My ordinary life, I could let it burn. Cause I just want to go. If you're new to my channel, I do like to use my dishwasher, but for my pots and pans, I go ahead and hand wash those and put those on my dish mat. I get a lot of questions about my different dish mats that I own, and I always have those in my Amazon favorites, and that link is always down in the description box. You Okay, you guys, this is something I've been doing lately and it saves so much time and it works really, really well. And that is applying Bon Ami powder cleaner on your pots or pans after you cook. It makes it super easy to clean, you guys.
work, just go, go, go. So we're upstairs in my bedroom and I'm gonna go ahead and wash my blankets today. I also have a new pillow that I wanna tell you guys about. So I've been using a new pillow called Dream Deep by Sutera and it's a memory foam pillow that fits to your neck's natural shape. Since using it, it has really alleviated built up tension I had in my neck and in my back. It's actually an ergonomical design for side and stomach sleepers. It has high density cooling memory foam and reduces back, neck, and joint pressure. So I sleep on my side, so it's been really comfortable to use something that's more supportive for my neck. And I've been really enjoying this pillow for its comfort, neck support, and getting a full eight hours of rest. So they did go ahead and give me a 20% off code. So make sure you guys go down in my description box, check out their link, and use my code so you can get your own Dream Deep pillow. Go ahead and comment down below and let me know if you are a side sleeper or do you sleep on your back or your stomach. I'd love to know. Now that we got the blankets in the wash, we're gonna go ahead and get my room cleaned up. Let me know if you sleep with a pillow between your knees, you guys. I have done that my whole life. I don't know if it's my hips or my knees, but it's just more comfortable for me. So I always have two pillows. Let me know if you sleep like that so I don't feel like the odd one out. I know my whole family, no one else sleeps like that. My mom does, but nobody else like in my family in the house. So let me know if you sleep with a pillow between your legs. So this Aunt Fanny's glass cleaner is one of the products in the cleaning products haul that you're going to see in a few minutes, but I am using it here. I did like it a lot. It wasn't bad or anything. It does have a little bit of a vinegar smell, so if you don't like that, you're not going to like the product, but it does a good job. Baby, it's a big dark world. You don't need to know about that. Don't need to know about that I'll protect you with my lies You don't need to know about that Don't need to know about that Just let me love you 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 So I've been using this method anti-bag everywhere. I absolutely love it. So I'm just spraying the sinks. I go ahead and do that first so it can kind of set and do its thing before I wipe everything up. Stop. 
So I like to clean my bike about once a week. It gets a lot of like sweat drips, which is so disgusting. Only me and my husband use this, so it's fine, but I still want to keep it clean. And then it also collects a lot of dust, so I'm going ahead and just wiping it. So this was later on in the afternoon and finally the blankets were washed and clean and I am about to go ahead and jump in to the cleaning products haul. So stay tuned for that. Till I woke up with you right by my side. I didn't think that you would show up like you did and you turned my life upside down. Oh, your love has got me high, never wanna say goodbye It's like my world's on fire, like my world's on fire This is where we're meant to be, singing to this melody Oh, this melody I'm gonna go ahead and show you the Grove Collaborative haul. All the stuff that I got, I got about $200 worth of cleaning supplies, but I desperately needed it. You'll probably hear a lot of the family in the background just because everyone is home. So let's dive in. And I have a little bit of a mess back here, so just ignore that if you see it. <laughs> so I went ahead and got some seventh generation extra tall kitchen bags. I've got these before. They are recycled, so that's really nice. So there's no order. I'm just gonna pull out the box and show you guys. The next thing I got was this Aunt Fanny's Floor Cleaner. This is the Vinegar Wash Concentrate. So it's the scent Bright Lemon. I've never got this brand before. This is gonna be a completely new brand that I'm trying. If you have tried any Aunt Fanny's stuff, let me know. I would love to hear your thoughts on the products. So this is supposed to be safe, hardworking, and non-toxic. So let me go ahead and just open it up and smell it for you guys, just because I love smelling cleaning products. And I did need some new floor cleaner anyway. Yeah, it smells like vinegar with lemon, <laughs> but it's not too strong of a vinegar smell. So the next thing I got, I've been wanting a long time, and I had no idea that Grove Collaborative had e-cloth products on their website, so that's pretty cool. Um, this is the Deep Clean Mop. This is by eCloth, but I bought it on Grove. So this is their kit. It has um, the Deep Clean Mop Head, Mop Base, and Handle in two sections. So it's lightweight and it leaves floors cleaner and drier. I've seen a lot of people use this before, so I'm really excited to try it for myself. I do love my spin mop, but this is gonna be something that's lightweight and I could probably clean up messes a lot quicker. I wanted to give it a try because I like to try new cleaning products anyway, so I'll keep you guys posted. Okay, so I've had these for a long time. I've tried these out, I still might have one, but it is a walnut scrubber. Um, I've been using these for years also. So I just grabbed a pack. All right, I got some more Bon Ami. You guys know I like to use this in my kitchen sink when I am cleaning my sink, but it's also good for cookware and tubs and tile. So here's another Aunt Fanny's product. This is the glass and window vinegar wash. Yeah, if you tried this, let me know. 
So it does say worry free on here and one of the reasons I like to try and clean with non-toxic products as much as I can, not 100% but as much as I can, um, I like to do that because Ava is always around in the house with me and Remy, my dog, they're around when I'm cleaning and it gets really like, it smells like cleaning products in here. So if I'm using non-toxic products majority of the time, it's safer when they are in the house and I'm cleaning and then also when Ava wants to help clean with me, she can grab, she could use this and spray it and be fine. I did go ahead and pick up some of these little treats for Remy. We haven't tried these. Um, they are jerky and they're made with upcycled ingredients. They're bite-sized jerky dog treats. Okay, so the next thing I got, I've used quite a bit. You guys see me use these all the time, but they are the seventh generation uh, dish pods. They're the dishwasher pods. So I really like these. I feel like they do a good job. They don't leave a lot of like residue for me or anything like soapy residue or anything. All right, so for the scrubbers or brushes, I did get this right, right here. It is the tub handler. So it's this cute little handle and it has different attachments. So this one is more designed to get like tougher stains and buildup. And then this one is a non-abrasive sponge, so very soft. And then this attachment, um, it does eliminate minor stains or buildup. If you can see that right there. If you've been a part of my YouTube family for a long time, you already know that I love these Caldrea sprays. Um, this is my favorite one. I do have the um, Sea Salt Nerali. So I have the yellow bottle Sea Salt Nerali, which smells good and I use it all the time. This is the Pear Blossom Agave and this is one of the best smells I have ever smelled. Like I could just smell it all day. It smells so good, you guys. Oh my gosh, I absolutely love it, you guys. Oh my gosh, so it's just a countertop spray. So if you just want to do like a quick clean on your coffee tables or your end table and nightstands and stuff like that, you could use this. So with that being said, I have never tried any other Caldrea products, but I, I didn't know they had any other ones. I just always seen the counter sprays and now I'm starting to see other stuff. So I really wanted to pick them up. So I went ahead and picked up this Sweet Pea Room Spray. So it's also by Caldrea, it's a big bottle. This is a 16 ounce bottle, it has that little spray right there. And let me test it out for you guys, cause I don't know if you love sweet pea, but like when I was younger, I would always get the sweet pea scent. Was it from Bath and Body Works or Victoria's Secret? One of those two places had sweet pea and I always had it. So we're gonna see if it smells like sweet pea. Let's try it on this blanket. It smells really, really good, but it definitely doesn't smell like the sweet pea that I'm used to, like that lotion back in the day. But it smells so good. I'm so excited to use it, you guys. I do have my own like essential oil base room sprays, but it's always fun to have like different scents and stuff. So I'm really excited to have that new one. So then I went ahead and got some dish soap by Caldrea, a Caldrea dish soap, which I'm super stoked about. And this is Rosewater Drift Wood, and let's smell it. It's hard to smell now because I have that, oof, I have that sweet pea around me. Yeah, this smells so good. Oh my gosh, I cannot wait to use this. This smells really, really good, you guys. So I wanted to get like some of these colors because we're kind of getting out of summer and heading into fall, and I feel like these colors would be cute, like, you know, out on our sinks and stuff. Oh, this is amazing. This reminds me of some of my, oh, it's lavender. It's lavender, cedar, leaf. So it definitely reminds me of like sometimes when I'm blending in my diffuser with like the cedar wood and the lavender, it reminds me of that smell that I diffuse in my diffusers. I like it a lot. So this is just a hand soap. I needed more hand soap. So I picked up quite a few. And then I also picked up this Caldrea lotion. It is basil blue sage. Yeah, this smells definitely like hints of basil. I don't know if I'm like a huge fan of that, but it feels good. It's definitely a good lotion. It's not a cheap lotion. It's not, the smell is not the best though. <laughs> I'm not like a huge fan of this smell at all. Okay, so I've actually seen this a lot lately from some of you guys that I watch over on Instagram. This is the Mrs. Meyers Clean Day Room Freshener and this is made with essential oils and this is in the lavender scent. 
I know what this smells like because I've used a lot of their Mrs. Meyers cleaning products in this scent, but I want to smell their room spray. Oh, it smells good. It smells good. It kind of reminds me of spring, just to be honest. So this is the Mrs. Meyers Clean Day Baking Soda Cleaner, and I've been wanting this one for a long time too. I have seen other people use this, and I've never tried it. So I'm really excited to try this, and I will definitely be sharing that with you guys when I'm cleaning. It's scratch-free, cleans and polishes. Um, it's the herb, this is the lemon verbena scent. So if you've been using Mrs. Meyers products, you know what the lemon verbena smells like. It's definitely something I used to use a lot, so I'm kind of like, eh, like I used it so much like in my bathroom and like when I cleaned years ago, like I, probably at the beginning of me putting out cleaning videos, I was using so much of this lemon verbena because I really do like lemon scent when I clean, but I'm kind of like tired of it now. <laughs> so it works nicely with sinks, stovetops, pots, pans, stainless steel, tile, tubs, showers, and faucets. So basically, all the good stuff. So I'll be using a lot of this and hopefully it works really well. <laughs> so since it is almost fall, I'm not putting out fall videos yet, but I do see a lot of people started putting them out. But I kind of want to wait a few more weeks to at least get into September. So maybe I'll put my first fall video out like, I don't know, the first week of September or something. But I did have to go ahead and pick up one of my old school favorites. This is the apple cider um, Mrs. Meyers hand soap. I really like to use this around like September, October to November really because it just reminds me of fall so much. Yeah, mmm, apple cider scent. If you've tried Mrs. Meyers uh, products before, let me know what your favorite fall scent is. So this is the Method Antibac. This is good for your kitchen surfaces, countertops, doorknobs, garbage cans, things like that. I've never tried this scent before, so I'm really excited. I'm really excited just to smell it. Um, this is Citron, Citron, I believe, and it's an all-purpose cleaner. Let me know if you have used this and what you think of it. Oh my gosh, guys. I actually really like this. It's, it reminds me of like the old school, like what is the old school mop, uh, floor product I used to use when I mop? I, I definitely like this. It smells fresh like it smells like if I'm gonna use this and clean that my house is gonna smell clean so I really like that it's not like a floral smell or anything pretty but it just smells like a really good like it just smells like a cleaning product like your house is clean if someone was to walk in they're gonna smell those scents and know like oh her house must be freshly clean no. <laughs> so this I'm excited to use this kills 99.9% .9 of household germs grounded it's ease occasional stress so I think that this is a vitamin or something. I don't know, I saw it says ease stress and I was like, that has my name on it. Let me try that out. I've actually been using uh, an essential oil by Young Living called Grounded that I'm really, really liking a lot. Um, but anything extra that I can get my hands on? Yeah, so I guess it is like a supplement. So here is the supplement in there, if you can see it. I will let you guys know, GABA Blend. I'm gonna have to Google what GABA Blend is. I mean, obviously it is natural and I do trust Grove that they have like good, healthy products. So I'm excited to try this. I will let you know if I am stressing less. <laughs> all right, you guys, so that's all I have for you. If you guys have used these products, any of them, let me know down in the comments. Let me know your thoughts on them, what your favorite ones are. If you didn't care for it, I would love to know. And I will see all of you guys in my next video. Also, let me know if you guys are putting up fall decor and when. What week are you putting fall decor up? I would love to hear it. I love you guys so much, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.